to our channel and we're back with party week i'm vic i'm nick and we are envy board gaming and today we're featuring crosstalk this is a four or more player game designed by brett sobel and seth van orden and it's published by nauvoo games nick is going to give a brief overview of how you play and then we're going to give our reviews All right, we are set up for a game of Crosstalk. Crosstalk is a game that is a team game. So you're gonna split up in a blue team and a black team. What you're gonna do first is you're gonna pick the captain for the first round for each team. Then you're gonna draw one of these cards out of the box and those captains are gonna select one of these words out here or phrases or people or things, whatever. So the captain's gonna look at this card, they're gonna select whatever they want to whatever they want to agree on, or if they don't agree on any of these, they roll a die, and whatever comes up, that's the word you're stuck with. So try to agree. So let's say they picked uh, Oceans 11, maybe they're movie fans. They're gonna pick Oceans 11, and only the captains know the word that they picked. They will then write a private clue for their teammates to see only. This is the only time they will be able to directly communicate with their teammates. So they will write a, pr a private clue. So this is probably gonna be the best clue they give for this round. So they wanna think of something good, something very applicable, or something that at least they're gonna work off of when they do public clues. So if Ocean's 11, let's say our, our, uh, our thing is, let's just say it's, uh, you know what, I think the other team's gonna say casino. So let's say movie. Now my plan is, I'll show you what my plan is, if I were actually playing. So my team is first gonna see that, so they're gonna know it's probably a movie. Because I supposedly gave the best clue I could. So now their their mind's gonna be set that it's a movie. I'm hoping this team wrote Casino or something to that effect. So you could not write um, more than one word. You could not write a proper noun. So anything that, that would normally be capitalized. So they couldn't write George Clooney or whoever, whoever's in any of the actors in uh, Ocean's Eleven, so forth. So I know that much. Now, everyone has their private, both teams have their private clue. Um, the team, let's say I'm the black team, and let's say that I was what the first player, I was decided, it was decided that I was the first player to give a clue. What I do is I give a public clue, however, only the opposing team gets to guess at that point. So I'm gonna hope that they put casino as their private clue because I'm gonna write casino. So now, now my team knows it's a casino movie. The other team, I don't know. I know now that for sure they know something about a casino, but I have no idea what they got in their private clue. No idea at all. So they're gonna have the first guess. They, for all I know, all they know is casino and casino. So I didn't give them anything. That could be, that's my ideal situation. But they get the first guess. If they're correct, they'll get the point. If not, my opponent captain will get to write a clue that will help my team. So now they can't write casino. Would they write movie? I don't know, hopefully not. We want them to write something that would help us. So maybe they write the word theft or steal or something that could really help my team a lot. So we're gonna go back and forth doing opposing teams, giving the opposing people their clues. You're gonna, so you're gonna have five rounds. If nobody gets it in those five rounds, no one scores. If someone gets it, they're gonna score, and then the uh, captains will change. So they get a new captain, both teams get new captains, and we do it all over again. First one to get five points is the winner. Hey everyone, welcome back for our review of Crosstalk. I've been kind of hard on party games, I guess, so uh, I'm gonna lighten the mood with an 8.2. This one is a fantastic uh, party game. I think it works really well for all ages, and it is actually interesting. Like I explained in my overview, 
where I did had that thought process where mm -hmm. I'm wondering what they're gonna pick. I want to make sure I pick the same thing in my public clue. That'd be that's the best case scenario. Um, it is risk reward there, obviously, and there's some variation to the game. You can play it with another board that that kind of um, it does a little bit. I didn't show it actually. Let's take that out right now. I want to show that just to show you that there is something that I didn't show and didn't have to cover because it is a variant. If you're trying to play a party game and trying to get the grandparents involved or kids, you might not want to do that, but you do have these hint boards right here that will change the game up and you can point to different things and communicate different ways. Also didn't bring up the fact that the whole point of the game is, the reason it's called crosstalk is because you don't want to share too much information. So there are situations that Let's say your opponent's captain wrote something down as a public clue. You're not sure. You and your team are not sure if you want to divulge what you're thinking because you're pretty confident it's wrong. Mm -hmm. But if, so if you say if you say a guess and you're wrong, you're giving a big clue to your opponents. So what you could do is you could communicate with these boards here and try to talk that way. It's like, do you think it's that? No, not even gonna bother guess. Okay, so mm -hmm. you can do it that way too. There's it's a party game with a little bit to it. And I think it's a lot of fun. I think it's um, just enough for a party game to be fun for gamers and non-gamers. So it's a great score, 8.2 for me. Yeah, I gave it a very similar score, 8.3. <laughs> just one off. Um, I enjoy this game. I like word games. I like games of guessing words. I tend to do pretty well in them. Uh, I have a, a, a good knack for it, good skill. And I think that it's easily teachable. As Nick mentioned, you can play with anybody. Um, it's not too hard to grasp the rules, not too many rules either. Um, mm -hmm. And I think that people get a lot of joy from accomplishing things together. Sometimes teamwork, it doesn't always work out in a group, but it can be really fun to take advantage of another team talking really loudly, picking up on what they're saying and learning about uh, the clue or using the, the pass kind of strategically where you're not gonna give that up as Nick mentioned. Um, I think that altogether the game is a lot of fun and would recommend it to any crowd for a party because uh, it's not obscene. It doesn't have, no. uh, you know, things that you can't, it's family friendly. You don't have to worry about anything coming up that you have to explain to your grandma or your grandpa what that Unless means. Unless somebody wrote it on their own accord. <laughs> yeah, that's true. The game doesn't do that. You could make it dirty if you wanted to. That's any party game that, yeah. you, that you're given a pen and paper. Yeah, that's true. But in any case, we enjoy this game and we bring it out quite often at family, um, family get-togethers. Yep. Like this video and subscribe to our channel. We are providing party games all week uh, and we also rate tons of other modern board games. So tune in, subscribe, and we will see you next time. Yep. Only one more party game though. So one more <laughs> and then the party week's done. We're back party to normal. Party day every day. <laughs> Bye guys. <laughs>